I wasn't out of the closet yet. Colin had come into town again, and my dad and his dad and me and Colin were sailing out to the islands to go on a sailing, surfing, fishing trip, which is pretty common for us. And um, at this point in time, we had like fooled around a little bit, but we hadn't hit that home run. And um, I was optimistic that that would happen. So Colin spent the night at my house. We fooled around that first night. <laughs> unsurprisingly so and then the next morning we woke up early to the dads like tossing around the house and um Colin was like in my arms when we woke up like we were still cuddling so we like very quickly threw on our underwear the dads got us up out of bed and then we headed down to the docks to like take the boat out so we get to the harbor we start loading up the boat and we start sailing out there and it's like a pretty warm day I think we actually like got on the water around like 7 30 a.m and I swear Colin does this every single time. I, I know it's, I was going to say maybe it's on purpose. I know it's on purpose. So he always wears these board shorts that you can like literally see up <laughs> as they flap open in the wind. And I always sit like in the bench, benches on the boat, right? Colin sits like up above those, like over the cabin, right? So he's at like a 90 degree angle to me. He's raised up above. His shorts are like at eye level to me. And uh, as we're sailing out there, the wind starts blowing and his shorts start flapping open in the wind. And I am getting a full on view of everything. So I was just getting driven nuts before we even got out there. Like I, I could not have been more excited. And bear in mind, it takes four hours to sail from Santa Barbara to the Channel Islands. So I, I had quite the view for quite some time. And uh, I, I could, yeah, I, I, I want to say I was excited for so long that things actually started to hurt. I mean, you can't blame me. Colin is like six foot two. He's tall. He's dreamy. He has dark brownish hair, like beautiful face, beautiful body, and everything, everything is proportionate. So there's a lot to look at. Anyways, we survived the crossing, and by we, I mean I, because I was the one really struggling there. I was the one in pain. It was, uh, yeah, it felt like it said it, you know, said it was four hours. I knew it was four hours. It felt like eight hours, but we got out there, and it was like lunchtime at this point. So we had some sandwiches for lunch. The dad started fishing and there really wasn't any surf that day. So we just kind of hung out and like threw a couple of lines in the water too and waited for the sun to go down. At least I did. Like I love doing everything out there, but once I started fooling around with Colin, that's kind of all I wanted to do. Finally, the sun went down and I knew that we were going to be sailing back the next day. And I also knew there was going to be surf the next day. So I knew that like this was my chance if I wanted to fool around with him. So the sun went down, we had dinner, we started getting ready for bed because we were gonna wake up early to go surfing. So we brush our teeth, the dads fall asleep, we go into our cabin, we start like whispering like we normally do about like how excited we are to surf the next day and how boring fishing was. And I get in bed first and I was kind of nervous about like the dads <laughs> being on the boat. So I got in the bed in my underwear and Colin gets into bed with nothing on like he normally does. Um, he strips down right in front of me. And so I'm getting another great view. And so I'm already at full attention and Colin gets into bed and he starts talking to me about the surf and stuff. And he like starts whispering in my ear and is like, Hey, like, why are you wearing your underwear? And I was like, Oh, I don't know. Like I was worried the dads might walk in on us or something. And he was like, no, like that's not going to happen. Just take them off. Like, let's have some fun. And I was, I did not take much convincing. So I was like, okay. And I took my underwear off. Now the dads are always like drinking on the boat and stuff. So they pass out like right away. There really wasn't much to worry about. And Colin and I start having fun pretty much right away. So we start kissing each other and we're kissing down each other's bodies. We're feeling each other everywhere. I'm feeling down lower. Colin's at full attention. I'm at full attention. And um, that very quickly like progressed into lots of hands action which progressed into other areas of action. And um, again, I really wanted that to lead to like being able to uh, be on top, right? But I also enjoyed side fun and I was a little nervous to asking like if Colin would be cool with that. So I didn't really know what to say. So we just kept having side fun for a while. So we're literally just rolling around on the bed, right? And at one point I have Colin face down and I am on top of him and I am fully excited, like I said. So I start poking him where I want to be poking him. 
And Colin seemed to really like that. Like that seemed right up his alley and would not have been up my alley. So I got the idea that maybe Colin would be into that. And I kind of whispered to him about it, which I was so nervous to do. But Colin said that, yeah, he, like, he would be down for that. And unfortunately, we didn't really plan ahead. We didn't have anything slippery with us to make that happen. So I decided that maybe spit would work. So I just like literally spit on my hand and to try to see if that would be enough to make it work for Colin's first time. And spoiler alert, it was not. We gave it a really good effort. <laughs> like A for effort. We tried for quite some time, but it just was not gonna work. And Colin was, it was too painful for Colin. So we went back to having some side fun and there was nothing wrong with that. Like that felt amazing. I was a little disappointed to not get to do everything I wanted to do. But at the same time, now I knew that Colin was down for that. So I knew that the next time we got together, we would probably get to do that. I would plan ahead. I would bring proper slippery stuff, lotion. I don't know, whatever, right? So we went back to side fun. Both of us accomplished our missions um, in the same fashion that we did the night before. If you didn't hear the previous story, go check it out on my page. And we did the same thing that we did the night before that, which was cuddle and fall asleep and i had like the warm fuzzies in my heart i was excited i felt like colin would be my boyfriend in the future and um, everything went perfectly except for the fact that i didn't get to do everything i wanted to do so we slept like that all night we woke up early the next morning and threw our clothes back on before the dads came into the cabin and then we heard like you know went surfing and did our thing for the day and then sailed back so that's the end of that story. If you want to hear more stories, hit follow if you're not already following me and let me know in the comments if you want me to like jump right back into another Colin story. If you want to hear another one, I have a few lying around that I haven't told yet. So let me know.